So no more than an hour later, I'm over here editing and I was just looking at Reddit and whatever. And I missed something about this, you know, Mario Direct, right? I'm excited. Okay, I'm still happy that, you know, these collections are coming and all these games are being ported over. See, our ports, they're not remasters. That's fine. You know, they probably have some, you know, visual differences. Like I said, like widescreen and, you know, maybe the controls are different or whatever. But for $60, it's a little bit bootleg, you know? I mean, it makes sense. There's three games. Maybe they're $20 each, maybe. But, you know, Crash and Spyro got full-on remakes of the three games and they only costed forty dollars nintendo what are you doing um but that's not what i wanted to talk about here apparently i missed this you know maybe other people missed it too you know because they're all hyped and excited because all oh, these mario games the collection everything is coming to the switch that's awesome there will be a physical release of this collection and then there's also be a digital release of this collection right but it will only be up until March 2021. Pretty much what Nintendo is doing is like, you know, buy it now. Like you have to buy it now. Otherwise you have no choice. You're not going to be able to play it. And people are, you know, I've, I saw Reddit and whatever, you know, they've done this before with the 25th anniversary, you know, Mario games or like Zelda, you know, Four Swords that like 3DS like or DS. Um, but just because they did it before doesn't mean they should do it again. Like it's pretty bootleg, you know, like I'm kind of angry. It's like, okay, you know, we're in the middle of a pandemic here people have a hard time getting cash like i'm saying like what about like parents or like toddlers maybe they're talking in the schoolyard or whatever it's like i heard you know mario games are being ported over to switch it's like oh yeah i would love to you know ask for christmas or something and well, let's say like i said you know the, this entire year has been like fucking shitty let's say like the parents or something like okay you know right now we can't really do that you know we're like we're barely surviving you know we can't like pay you know for the money and stuff let's you know wait until next year or your birthday and that's like next year let's say you know august or whatever it's like what happens then like you know it's like oh you know we wanted to get you this but like apparently it's not available anywhere except on ebay for like five hundred dollars scalpers are gonna you know get this and they're just gonna sell it for like a thousand billion dollar hairs but the thing like i said it doesn't make sense why remove it digitally too though like let people still play it especially now like i said especially this year i don't know if the virus and junk are gonna go away anytime soon hopefully they do that'd be awesome but like maybe that's why they're extending it to an entire year march 2021 it doesn't matter if you're able to pre-order it now right good for you i hope you enjoy the game i hope they're all released on one cartridge instead of kind of bootleg where it doesn't fit on there and you have you know kind of like how um spyro had it what wait what happens then let's say mario galaxy fits on the cartridge right and then the other two you have to download digitally uh what happens then like well, after march 2021 like will you not be able to download it digitally anymore like if you have the physical cartridge i'm guessing they're all going to fit on there but i'm just saying like you know in theory what what happens after that that's the problem with this you know that's what i have a problem with i'm just saying all the people who don't have that chance you know who can't you know maybe they want to buy this but sixty dollars is a lot maybe they only want to play sunshine right or like i said because of the whole virus thing or it could be a you know other things too they gotta pay rent they gotta you know buy food they barely play games you know like they can't afford it but maybe in the future you know they're able to it's like what then like they don't even have a chance like they have no choice and instead of spending like sixty dollars or something for mario odyssey you know it'd be a lot better if maybe you know each game was separate announced i'm saying like that would make more sense right like if they individually release them so people can buy them for like 15 or 20 dollars right if it's nintendo it's probably gonna be <sighs> i wouldn't be surprised if it's full price like jesus christ i and like i said i know you know you can get it physically you know like let's say mario 64 you can get a nintendo 64 and mario 64 itself but that can cost quite a bit too mario 64 still holds up in value that can go up you know alone that game can be over sixty dollars plus you need a tv that can actually take in like the av connections and stuff it's just convenient to have you know if you already have a switch to have all these games right there ex you know coming out through hdmi and just playable like that like it's convenient but like i said because of this backwards thinking here nintendo is doing it's like it's kind of bootleg kind of you know destroys the whole hype and i get it like it's you know hype people up and you know to get more cash or whatever and you know it's like a special event you know 35th anniversary once it's gone it's gone right like you can still do that and keep it digitally but that is so dumb that makes me sad 
And like I get it, they're probably, you know, 40th anniversary, they're gonna do the same thing. Gonna have another collection, it's gonna be a limited thing. It's like, that makes me angry. It's like, Nintendo, like, people wanna play your games, but you're doing a really bad job at not only preserving them, I get, you know, the whole emulation thing, removing websites, you know, share ROMs and whatever. Like, I get it, it's your property and junk, but at least give people an option to buy it, like, legally, right? Like, that's the problem here. It's not about just playing the games, downloading them for free and whatever, you know, that's a problem in itself too. Like preserve your games like there's so much media out there so many shows so many you know games so many like books everything that have been gone to history that people would love to like re-experience now but that just makes you angry it's like this is kind of why people pirate these games it's like nintendo like what are you doing like don't you want money like people will gladly buy these games even after march as long as people can still buy it digitally like at least they still have an option metroid and zelda are getting their 35th anniversary next year as well i love metroid i would love a collection as well for you know that series but nintendo cares more about zelda than metroid so if there's going to be another collection like mario here it's probably going to be zelda i'm guessing wind waker and Twilight Princess are probably gonna get like ports like the Wii U but what about Skyward Sword is that just gonna be a port like the Galaxy and it's gonna be limited like I said like some people just can't buy it now and then they won't have a chance later that's fucking stupid I, I don't mean to be angry and like swearing and junk but I'm just thinking about all the people you know in the future or all the toddlers or whatever who can't get it now or play it now the people who can't spend $60 on this right now especially in 2020 hopefully there's you know they're sold separately or something so people can play it at least hopefully this practice this stops too, you know, making it available for a limited thing. Thanks for watching. I'll cut it here. Doodles.